Our next guest is a pro edible baker who's here to teach us his secret to making the perfect edible just in time for 420. Please welcome Rex from Rex's Recipes. Hey, homie. Hey, Rex. Welcome to Bi Weekly. Damn, these lights are bright. You might want to get that checked out or something. They're supposed to be like that. Rex, this is a TV studio. Oh, I ain't, man. Whatever you say, man. I've never been to TV before, but I love watching it. I'm a big cartoons guy. Cartoons? Aren't you like 25? And what about it? You never indulge in a little nightly SpongeBob? I did when I was seven. Well, my mom's basement's the perfect room to watch TV because it's nice and dark like a movie theater. Yeah, just like the movies. So, Rex, um, you have a new cookbook out for edibles, Rex's Recipes. Would you mind telling us a little bit about how you got into cooking? Well, I prefer to call it baking. But, I mean, I just like getting baked and thought, how could I make a living out of this? Snoop selling lighters with Martha Stewart, so what can I do? Then one night after eating an edible, it came to me, a cookbook. You're comparing yourself to Snoop Dogg? What have you done that's even remotely comparable to Snoop? Well, for starters, we're both pimps. Okay, and... that's enough. So anyway, Rex, when writing the book... Yeah, I'm not really feeling talking about the whole book thing. It's pretty insignificant to think about when you look at the big picture. You know? uh, what big picture? That's why we asked you on the show to talk about your book. See, I was thinking... Why do we succumb to the norms of society when there's so much more to life, man? Like, outside of the box shit. Um, yeah, sure, I get what you mean. Like, who decided to name the Earth, Earth? How do you get to be in charge of something that huge, man? Um, I'm really not sure. Well, you better get thinking, my dude. Shit's pretty serious. I mean, people with that much power can't be trusted. I mean, I'm sure whoever named the Earth has probably been pretty fucking dead for a while. I mean, with that much power, shit, they could be a mortal or an alien or something, like... Y yeah, I, I, I don't think aliens are real Rex. I wouldn't expect you to understand anyway. It's pretty profound thinking. I don't know. Okay, whatever that's supposed to mean. And, like... Who put the alphabet in that order? Like, I know it wasn't God. He has bigger things to worry about than the frickin' alphabet, and it wasn't Gandhi. So who was it? Why would Gandhi be the one in charge of ordering the alphabet? That literally makes zero sense. Gandhi was a great guy. What do you have against Gandhi, man? Like, do you hate world peace or something? That's pretty fucked up. I never said I was against Gandhi, Rex. Where are you even getting that from? Okay, chill, dude. I think you might need some of my herbal remedies with all that negative energy you're bringing in. I am not bringing in negative energy, Rex. Whatever you say, man. Hey, you want a snack, man? I got the world's favorite cheesy snack, Cheez-Its. I'm, um, I'm, I'm good, really. I just ate. Well, if you ever need anything else, you know, perhaps for an upcoming holiday or anything, hit my line. I don't know. I mean, I don't really... Well... I do love holidays. No need to justify, girl. I got you. Well, all right. You've convinced me. Well, folks, I have to roll a blunt stunt stunt. I mean, do a stunt in the next video. We'll be back. Yeah!